Hey guys, Vicky Luke here, and today we're gonna do another No Man's Sky base video. It's been like seven months, but uh, this video is probably gonna become outdated in like a day or two. Uh, but it's gonna be all my bases, all of them on screen right now, with the uh, times that they're gonna be shown. Uh, but without further ado, let me get inside the space station and warp to the first one, which is um, Noodle Central Headquarters. You've already seen this one. In the first video, there's a tiny bit of changes, but nothing too crazy. It's still the same base, just, you know, a few different rooms. But um, I'm going to cut there, and I'll uh, give the tour. Okay, welcome to the planet of Planet Noodle. This is my first base, my... Well, first base I'm going to be showing, and the first base I've built in the server. This is a creative game, to get that out of the way. It's not a survival. Uh, but before we get into that base over there, we're going to look at that. This is definitely one of the best views I've seen in No Man's Sky, but, uh, you know, change my mind. Here's Planet Noodle, just uh, so you know, this is what it looks like from the outside. Anyway, let's get move on to the actual base. There is, you know, the landing patch nothing special. And then there's these three things which are going to be ever expanding when I get more of these uh, glitch whatevers. But uh, basically they're contained glitches that I get from exotic plants. Like there's a bubble cluster from Bubble Planet. And then there is over here a one of these things from a uh, I don't know the name of them but these types of planets. This, this is basically a scaled down version of one of them. Uh, and then there's one of these, which this was my first time being to the, one of these planets, so I don't know what they're called, but it's a Calci... Cal... Cal... Calci Shroom, so yeah. Uh, now it's gonna be expanding when I get more of those, like, captured reality glitches or whatever the game calls them. Destabilized glitch or something. There's the teleporter, the, uh, Exocraft Geo Bay, and then my base computer, nothing special. The base is called the Noodle Central Headquarters, the planet is called uh, Planet Noodle, as so now there is a bit of a tree problem, the uh, trees like to go inside the base, um, but we'll start off, this is the entrance area, just the table, now to the right, this is technology room, there is a appearance modifier, large refiner, galactic trade terminal, and then two of these for looks, because they don't mean anything creative, but a window, moving in here, the terminal room for missions and stuff, this is a fake power room. Most of my base, well, all my bases are on auto power because I don't want to go through the struggles of doing manual powering because I like being creative and I don't like spending half the time building my base just connecting wires and everything. So, moving on to the next area, there's also some Z fighting in the corridors. It's just because this is a seven month old base, so here's one of the trees going, and I will explain why this happens. Um, in a bit when I'm done giving the actual tour of the base, but here's the plant room, main one, like living things and frost work because you know, snow planet and then that because it looks cool. So now we're moving into here. This is the lounge. You can see there is a chair, a little desk, along with the table, some couches, some monitor because why not? A weapon station, pretty much just a little lounge area. Then we have these aren't blocked, this is gonna be more Z fighting, but then there is okay, it's blocked, but uh. Okay, there we go. Uh, now it's a good view of the rings, and uh, if this one's blocked, no, it's fine. So, if you look closely, you can see a planet and what looks like a moon. That is actually a planet and another planet just angled really, really prettily. They they look really cool together. Another reason I like the planet also. I'm just showing my freighter. My freighter. Um... So then moving on back this way. Um, it, to the left now. There is this area. Don't have any plants in it because I uh, don't have any ideas. Upstairs. There is the little sleeping quarters. Drawers, everything. Now every single one of the bases is going to have a certain tune to it. Like a certain music that I made for that base. And this is the one for Central Headquarters. Also a save point right here. 
And then you come through here to the right, another tree going, that's, you know, typical. And then, you know, just pretend this is a sink. The bathroom, you know, this is what looks close to a toilet, and then this is, you know, what I could do for a shower. Shower, yeah. Um, there's no, well, none of those options, but this is central headquarters, so it's like my main house in the main house space, so, uh, you know, you need a place to, uh, you know, do your business. But, um, there's also this, every plant, and then these, because they look cool. Yeah, you can tell. I was, uh, very much out of ideas, but that's fine, because this is all for... Noodle Central Headquarters, the showing of the base. Now let me tell you the the history of this base and Planet Noodle. Uh, let me move down onto landing pad. Basically, seven months ago, June 2020, me and my friend Xander started up a save, and this was my main base. This is located in the Anellum system. Uh, next to these planets. Um, and uh, everything, every one of these names is a noodle planet. I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, if you want a video showcasing what I've named things to my planets, just let me know. I'll make that in a, make that in a flash. But uh, planet noodle, basically this is the history. I came across in this system after my friend had found his planet, which I also have a base in now. And I liked it because it had rings, you'll see that's a trend, and it was really mountainy, nice, beautiful snow planet, obviously that one few. So I made a base, and this was the first base. Now, I made the base, cool, it's done. Flew away to another system, probably my friends to see how his base was going. Came back, and the whole base was gone. So I built it all again, you know, left to see how his base was going. Came back, and the old base, Parts of the old base had spawned inside my base, my the new one that I made, and were not allowed to be deleted. There was a base computer there that said it was Xander's, but he couldn't access it, nor could I. So, you know, I was just like, okay, fine, I guess I'll find a new planet. So I didn't find a, a new planet that day, but then the next day, I come on, go to the planet, and the old base is gone, and it's just the new base, and nothing's disturbing it, so... I think that does contribute to part of the reason trees always grow inside the base. It's much better than it used to be. There usually used to be like some rocks that grew inside it, trees, everything was just going clipping through the floors. You're still Z-fighting. Sometimes the terrain would come back that I flattened and the whole entire base would be filled with snow. It's a really glitchy base. Always has been. Um, that's basically why, because I think the game still has trouble thinking exactly where the base is because of those two events that happened when the old base disappeared then came back and then disappeared again. Um, that's basically it for Planet Noodle. Now, I'm going to go to the teleporter and we are going to go to the next planet, or base, which, uh, yeah, see you guys there. Okay, so now we are at the next base. Also, something you're gonna notice with all my bases, Noodle, Mainly just because, you know, I like pasta. That's it. That's why everything is called Noodle. Uh, my bases, my ships, the things I've discovered on Planet Noodle, that's, that's why. But anyway, welcome to Planet Worm, another highly creative name by me. Um, now, this planet is called Worm because it has a sandworm. There's a tornado on it, but that was only once. Uh, so, before we get into the base, I'm going to time lapse real quick, and I'll show you guys sandworm proof that there is, in fact, a sandworm. So, we'll wait for that. Uh oh. Let's hope that tornado doesn't have it again. <laughs> I don't need to see one of those today. I just want a sandworm game, and I'll be on my way. Alright, I think we're going to have to hold off on the uh, sandworm for now. I do have some extra footage, so I'll uh, uh, play that right now. Okay, so uh, now we're going to get the heck inside. There's nothing inside. More craziness happens, we're going to get to see. Something you're going to realize about this place, trees still growing it for no reason. 
and it is formatted very, very similar, s similarly to my main base, uh, because I was, I, this is my second base, no ideas I had, I had no ideas, okay. Uh, technology room, basically very compact, it's hopefully, you know, technology, you know. And over to the right, another fake power room, same exact thing as New Central Headquarters, uh, special, uh, another tree in the middle of the area, and more trees, and then to the left over here, there is a, another, like, lounge area. You take this little cord over here into the observation deck, which we can see, uh, we can't really see much because of the storm, but, you know, if there's a sandworm, you'll, you'll see, you'll see it. I don't know, there's a tornado, but, uh, some pretty severe wind. We'll see. Anyway, you can hear the uh, music from here, too. But uh, if we head back this way, straight up here, there's more plants, because why that not? So, yeah, plant room, same thing. He's filling in and all these because I wanted to have them plants. Moving this way, uh, yeah, just went that way. Now forward, um, he just went to the right, now to the left. There's a base computer area. That's just how to get to the base computer. There's the map, not that's the fog. Uh, I'm heading up here. Nothing. Then sleeping quarters, save point, and music. Same exact thing as my other base. So uh, before something bad happens, I'm going to go. Before something bad happens, I'm going to go to my next base, which should be Outpost Beta, so I will see you there, and the weather will probably be worse if it's uh, the one I think it is. Okay, welcome to Noodle Outpost Beta. Um, I intend to do an Australian accent there. Uh, it's located on Planet Mustafar, uh, Star Wars reference, and I just fell off, so we're gonna get right back up there. Okay, we're back. So, uh, we're gonna get up here, another song for the planet. Uh, this is stuff is all for decoration. No, cause, you know, cool. Uh, um, in here, this music is really loud. Uh, barrels, monitor stations, one of these, cause why not? Uh, it goes out to the base computer, technology room, things for looks. And forward, there's a server and teleporter that goes up here to the observation decks. So look at the uh, natural wildlife along with the, uh, you know, volcano. This base is located in a basin, so mountains surrounding it. Um, that's fun. I hate letters in this game so much. Okay, so we're gonna move back this way and then, okay, to, okay, come on. We're gonna go up here, actually. Um, and then this is where the music is. Uh, observation decks, which don't really have a good view, so I'm not gonna show them. And then there's the plant room, which is a bunch of these, because they look good with the, uh, the base. Now, this is probably my smallest base, so. Um, yeah. And then this goes down to my, uh, so I decided to use the, that's loud. I, I decided, I. I decided to use the Colossus because I thought it fit well with this uh, terrain. But uh, that's a very short tour because this is it for this planet. For this base. It's not a big base because it is a small outpost. So uh, we're going to go for the next one. Now, now, welcome to the next base on Planet Redacted. It's also a Redacted planet. Uh, so, yeah, outside, very, very cool. So now I'm going to go inside so you can actually hear. Observation deck because I uh, it was running out of ideas. Monitor station with a weapons rack because I was running out of ideas. Check in station, you know, just the person the other. Check tech room as you know, it's the uh, outposts and bases. You can hear the music to this base as well. There's a little sleeping quarters here too. And then up this ladder, there is the plant room with the uh, frost warts and then these and these, which you'll uh, get. Because they look cool. Save point, so I use that. And then to the uh, right, I move on over here. There is just a little meeting chair, and then to the up, to, to uh, up the ladder, there is a five feet area, so the music, and then some storage. 
and then moving this way. Nice observation deck. Can't really see much because it's night and it's raining, but head down here. And then this way. And then take this teleporter. And then take this teleporter. More music, and now you are actually underground. So, alright, um, so mineral invading my privacy. So this is now underwater, this way. You can see, uh, well, back over here, you can see, it's like an underwater, located in an underwater cave and kind of burrowing into the mountain, so. Beep, bite, bite, beat station, weapons terminal, ter ter terminal. Another like a little data research center with these for your looks, and then like a data entering center, I guess. I don't know. And then like a specimen storing center. You can see there's two of these plants that were up that were at the surface level, and then just a bunch of stuff for no reason because you know it looks cool with all these plants here. That's it. Um, gonna head back to the surface, and we'll move on to the second to last. Okay, welcome to Planet Planetary Stabilization Collapse. It's a bubble planet. And this is also where the Noodle Secondary Command Center is located. So we're going to start with uh, this up here before we get to the main uh, base. So let's head up here real fast. You can hear the music too. This is, uh, they just closed, but this is basically a bunch of solar panels that are meant to look like they're pounding the base. Anyway, now let's move in to the actual base. It's dug into two-way mountains, so there's this area looking inside. Looking in here. Banner, my color banner, because this is what I use to build my bases. The color, another check-in station, full canister. Now, to the right, there is a big storage area with a lot of storage things, like a battery and, you know, some things that are tilted, a bunch of barrels, weapon racks, shelves, you know, just storage area. Long with a save point. Now, moving back over here, forward, there is the technology room, as per usual. Here's the music, and then a little another desk area, two couches, bedroom, with like a little monitor hanging down. Banner. And then back this way. I'm gonna go through this pretty quick now because I don't want the video to be too long. Uh, to the left, there is this area because I. Didn't know what to put down. There's also that way to look who's coming in. Up here is funny because it's a plant room, but there's no sunlight because it's in the middle of the mountain. But there's these because they look cool. Two frost warts because plant a noodle, and then these because they look cool. No other reason. And then this way up here. Oh, oh come on. Come on. Uh, is there like something? Sure. It's in the mountain, so there's a lot of texture glitches. Uh. And then this would be a good view if it was day, so uh, let me quickly, there we go. Good view if it's daytime, because you can see everything. So yeah, mountainy, got a mountainy bubble planet, instead of flat one or hilly one or, you know, valley one, mountainy, so. Now, let's move on to the final base, which was safe for last because it's the one base that's not fully made by me. Um, now, the base was made by my friend Xander, and then the furnishing, everything inside, and the, the music and everything is made by me. So we're gonna head there right now. Welcome to beautiful planet Earth's latest patch. Now I'm in photo mode right now because it's actually nighttime, but I wanted to show you how pretty this planet is when it's the daytime you could see literally literally earth but you know better that's hence the name earth's latest patch R you know has rings now it's the water's you know blue across the whole planet the grass is green sun shining purple leaves because you can't go wrong with the color purple it's just a very pretty planet uh looks everything looks good on you know sunset i mean so is that sunrise or sunset sun sun sunset and then sunrise or whatever. Nighttime, eh. But the daytime is where this 
pulling it really looks good. Anyway, here's the base, Blue Noodle HQ. This so I forgot to mention why it's called Blue Noodle HQ. Basically, it's a combination of me and my friend Xander's usernames. This is a combination of me and Xander's ability to kind of make a group base. So like I said, it's built by Xander, furnished by me. Uh, let's, sorry. Okay, I have hiccups. Let's get into it. So let's take this door and sell for up here. Song is usual, and then door in. Save point. So the theme, the color for Xander's bases are green. The color for mine is, you know, red and black. The color for our group is black and yellow because it looks good. Now couch, monitor station, nothing special. Check in like I'm on with most of the bases. Save point. To the right, there is the table, which is in honor of most of my bases. Then there's a little like locker area, and then up here is the sleeping quarters area. Dresser. And then moving this way. Here is where the bipede is. Actually, I wait. I can't do math. This is six. This is six. Eating station. And I kinda like that song. It's one of the better songs. Um, moving this way, there is a banner room, which is my color, Xander's color, little mat, and then some servers. Now there's a technology room, and then over here is a uh, plant room, frostworts to honor my base, and then these two are under Xander's base, which is the, it's it, his planet is a hexagon planet but these kind of look like the color of the hexagon planet there's not anything that actually comes from the hexagon planet and this is a mixture both you know light light blue you know or light green whatever one you want to say but kind of my planet and then Xander's yellows from the hexagon planet and then moving on you may have seen an observation deck which we're not going to go to because uh I don't want to climb up a lot of ladders because there's no short range teleporter there Anyway, moving this way. Oh, okay, moving this way. Another little, this is another observation bag. This is the one that's fine, so. Now you can head down here. And down here, and it's like a uh, way to get to summary. But that's pretty much it for this video, as the labs didn't pop. Sure, I'll look at that, a shooting star just touched down. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is animal right there, a moonwalking animal. A lot of the animals on this planet are quite good at moonwalking. My screen just vibrated. Controller. The cracking gonna come out. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Longer video as usual, but a lot of bases to cover. Maybe expect this to be changed or re-uploaded with another section because I am always making new bases. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And remember, before I end it, stay safe.